Hello everybody. In this video we are going to talk about the components of variable air volume terminals. Basically we have five main components for any VAV terminal which we are going to talk about them in this video. So let's begin. A simple VAV system includes the following. We have central air handler with a variable volume supply fan, a cooling coil, possibly a heating coil, controls, filters, a mixing box, and a return or relief fan. We have supply duct, we have VAV terminal unit or box with a thermostat and supply diffuser for each independently controlled space. We have thermostat and unit controller for each terminal unit. And finally, we have return plenum or duct. VV terminal units. A VV terminal unit is a sheet metal assembly installed upstream of its respective space diffuser. The unit consists of air modulating device, control hardware, and depending on the system application, possibly a heating coil, a filter, and a small terminal mixing fan. Modulating the airflow to each individual space is accomplished using a temperature controlled mechanical device that varies the airflow resistance in the supply duct to that space. The rotating blade damper changes airflow resistance by rotating the damper into the air stream, restricting the size of the air passage to that space. It is very cost effective and flexible, typically either a pneumatic or electric controller can be used to adjust the damper. First configuration for VAV terminals is the single duct cooling only system. Single duct cooling only is the simplest of all VAV terminal. It consists of airflow modulation device with controls all packaged in a sheet metal enclosure. The unit can only modulate the primary airflow to the space. The primary air is supplied by a single central air handler. This graph indicates how the air supplied to the space by the terminal unit varies as the space load change. The vertical axis indicates the total airflow supplied to the space. The horizontal axis indicates the space load. The supply airflow to the space is reduced as the cooling load in the space decreases. Responding to the space thermostat, the primary airflow is modulated between maximum and minimum setting. The maximum setting is determined by the design cooling load of the space, and the minimum setting is manually determined by the space ventilation requirement or minimum airflow for proper diffuser selection. VAV reheat terminals. VAV reheat terminal unit provides supply air tempering or space heating by reheating the coal primary air. This is accomplished by adding an electric or hot water heating coil to the discharge of a cooling only unit. The VAV reheat terminal unit is typically used for those zones that required seasonal cooling and heating, such as exterior zones of a building. In the cooling mode, the unit is controlled in the same manner as the cooling only unit. The supply airflow is reduced as the cooling load in the space decreases. When the space cooling load drops below the minimum primary airflow setting for the unit, overcooling the space, the heating coil warms means tempers the primary air to balance the low space cooling load. When a space heating is required, the heating coil further warms the primary air to satisfy the space heating load. During the heating mode, the primary airflow must often be greater than the minimum setting of the unit for the cooling mode. When warm, buoyant air is supplied from the ceiling, a certain velocity is required to effectively deliver it down to the occupied portion of the space. Increased airflow may also be needed to meet the minimum requirement for proper operation of the heating coil. VAV reheat 
is more efficient than the constant volume reheat system which is discussed in the previous video because heat is provided at reduced air flow and only when required another method that a single duct VEV terminal unit can employ to heat a space is to mix warm plenum air with cool primary air because this method uses a small fan to draw warm air from the plenum and mix it with the primary air they are called fan power terminal units they come into two configurations parallel and series first of all a parallel fan power terminal unit consists of a primary airflow modulation device and a small integral constant volume fan package to provide parallel airflow paths in the cooling mode the unit is controlled in the same manner as the cooling only unit primary air flow is reduced as the cooling load in the space decreases when the space cooling load drops below the minimum primary air flow setting for the unit over cooling the space the small fan activates to mix warm plenum air with the cool primary air this increases the total air flow to the space and creates a warmer supply air condition if additional heating is required with the terminal fan on a heating coil can be used to further warm the supply air Operating the fan is a form of energy recovery. It tempers the supply air with heat from the building and lights carried by the return air, rather than with the new energy, thus delaying the start of the heating coil. When in cooling mode, the supply air flow to the space equals the primary air flow. When in tempering and heating modes, the space receives a constant supply air flow equal to the minimum primary air flow plus the minimum air flow delivered by the terminal fan usually the primary air flow is not allowed to shut off completely because of the space requirements for the ventilation air second type series fan powered a series fan power terminal unit consists of air flow modulation device and a small constant volume fan packaged that so that their airflow paths are in series the terminal unit fan operates continuously whenever the space is occupied the fan draws air from either the primary air stream or the plenum based on the thermostat in the space this results in constant volume of supply air delivered to the space all the time in the cooling mode, the primary air flow is reduced as the cooling load in the space decreases. The total supply air flow to the space remains constant, a combination of cool primary air and warm plenum air. If the space cooling load drops below the minimum primary air flow setting for the unit, or if space heating is required, a heating coil can be used to further warm the supply air to the space. The maximum air flow for the air flow modulation device typically equals the terminal fan air flow. This means that at the design cooling load, primary air flow equals supply air flow. Here is a comparison between parallel and series fan powered systems. There are three differences between these two systems. Uh, first constant air flow to space which is given by the series configuration which is considered the premium VEV system because while the central system operates as a variable volume system the space receive constant supply air flow thus increased air motion in the space improves comfort at all load conditions and the constant airflow simplifies the fuser selection so there are two benefits of the constant airflow to the space which is a benefit for the series configuration or series system second acoustic the series units offer improved acoustical conditions in the space the constant sound of the series unit with the fan 
operating however the space is occupied is generally preferred to the on-off sound generated by the cycling fan in the parallel unit thus the series also is more benefit in the acoustic side last aspect is the fan energy consumption because the fan runs continuously however the space is occupied a series fan powered unit consumes more energy than a parallel fan powered unit the development of high efficiency motors has lessened the energy consumption differences the fan in a series fan powered unit also costs more than an equivalent parallel fan powered unit because it generally require large terminal fan here is a summary of uh, fan powered single duct terminals the fan powered terminal units without a heating coil are typically used to provide tempering for those zones that required year-round cooling and have relatively high minimum airflow settings such as the densely occupied interior zones of a building for example conference room a fan power terminal unit with a heating coil is typically used for spaces that required seasonal cooling and heating such as the exterior zones of a building and here is the single duct VEV system a single duct VEV system use a central return air path that allows the air from the spaces to come back to the air handler at uh, the air handler a portion of this return air is recirculated and mixed with outdoor air introduced for space ventilation purposes this mixture of outdoor and recirculated return air is or primary air is then conditioned and delivered to the VEV terminal unit through the supply duct system the remainder of the return air is exhausted from the building next to the single duct uh, terminal we have dual duct terminal a dual duct terminal unit consists of two airflow modulation devices with controls packaged in a sheet metal enclosure one controls the cool primary air and the other controls the warm primary air depending on the method of control these two air stream may mix in the dual duct unit before proceeding downstream to the space the VAV terminal unit is intended for zones that require seasonal cooling and heating typically the exterior zones of a building it is seldom used because of the high first cost anchored to provide two duct systems a dual duct terminal unit can be controlled to provide either a variable volume or a constant volume of supply air to the space this is the first case of dual duct uh, terminal which is variable air volume to the space this graph indicates how the air supply to the space by the terminal unit varies as the space load change the vertical axis indicates the total airflow cool primary air plus warm primary air supply to the space the horizontal axis indicates the space load to deliver a variable volume of supply air to the space in the two fan dual duct system in the cooling mode the dual duct unit is controlled in the same manner as the cooling only unit the cool primary airflow is reduced as the cooling load in the space decreases when the space cooling load drops below the minimum uh, cool primary airflow setting for the unit overcooling the space the second modulating device begins to open this allows the warm primary air to mix with the cool primary air and provide warmer supply air to the space as the cooling load decreases further and the space required hearing more warm primary air 
is mixed with the minimum amount of cool primary air. This is the second case of dual duct uh, terminal system, which is constant air volume to the space. To deliver a constant uh, volume of supply air to the space in a two-fan dual duct system, as the cooling load in the space decreases, the amount of cool primary air is reduced and the amount of warm primary air is increased, maintaining a constant total supply airflow to the space. Because of this constant airflow to the space, no fan energy savings is realized at part load conditions. This is all for today's video. I wish you enjoy and learn more about the VAV uh, terminal units. In the next video I will continue the remaining configuration of uh, VAV terminals and we will also speak about uh, the control system of VAV terminals. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe in my channel to keep on.